okay friends uh, this session is about uh, auto expansion uh, that means uh, many a times so what happens is uh, the database uh, where it is stored that device may exhaust the space and we don't have any space available to continue and uh, we uh, may not be able to know because we might not be available online always monitoring and checking the resources so in the previous session i talked about uh, manual expansion of the space or the storage by adding disk storage and uh, disk initializing the disk and all that stuff in this session it is a very small session where we'll talk about the auto expansion facility that means enabling auto expansion so that if the device uh, run out of space it should automatically expand with the settings as we have given we can configure databases to expand automatically when they run out of space this auto expansion process run as a background task and generate informational messages in the server's error log by default sybase does not have this turned on as a matter of fact you have to run a script that is shipped with the product in order to create the stored procedure that will make it possible for you to use this feature okay so uh, without running the script you will not get it so use the following steps to set up the database for auto automatic expansion first you have to ensure that you have a sa role ex permission that means you are already logged in as sa so if you are already logged in as sa user system administrator user you have right to execute the script so normal user will not be able to run the script and will not have rights on the script install automatic database expansion procedures and then install db extend script uh, which installs the family of threshold action procedures and spdb extend in the sybase system processes database so the command is straightforward isql hyphen usa hyphen p password hyphen as server name and the script is located in your home page uh, home directory under that there is a directory called ase hyphen 16.0 I'm sure by now everybody is aware. Under that, there's a folder called scripts. Under script folder, there's a, a file. The folder script name is install db extend. So you can run this script and it will install the db extend uh, procedures which are required for enabling the automatic expansion. Once you have installed this script, you can configure databases. To expand automatically when they run out of space there's a stored procedure with the name sp underscore db extend which allows you to install thresholds that identify those devices with available space and then appropriately alter the database and the segment where the threshold was fired on these devices so the most important stored procedure is a db extend which does this process for you automatic expansion how it works uh, first uh, you set up the database for automatic expansion internal mechanism fires when a database grows to its free space threshold and increase the size of the database by the amount of space your expansion policy specify here uh, the good point is you have to specify your expansion policy okay there are some default expansion policies but then obviously you can configure them and make your own customized expansion policies as you deem fit the automatic expansion process measures the amount of room left on all devices bound to the database if there is sufficient room on the devices the database continues to grow by default if the size of the device is greater than 40 mb the size of the database is incre increased by 10%. Okay. Now, if the, your database is smaller than 40 MB, the size of the database is increased by 4 MB. However, you can specify the database resizing limits that match the needs of your site. 
if any devices are configured for expansion those devices expand next finally the database is expanded on those devices this automatic expansion process run as a background task and generate informational messages in the server's error log so you can check and monitor how it is working the most important stored procedure is db extend so sp underscore db extend procedure allows you to customize the database and device expansion process based on site specific rule that means based on your own policies the database administrator can configure the size or percentage by which each database and segment pair and the device should be expanded now here i before i move on to the next point i have a logical question and the answer which mohit asked me in the morning this will work only if you have sufficient large space on that partition where you are running the data and where the database is stored physically so point is if i have a raw device a raw partition of 1 gb only and my database has already grown to 1 gb i cannot expand it this db auto expansion will not work why because i have not configured any additional device i have to add additional devices for my database maybe different partitions or sufficiently large partition so the physical limits are there and they have to work you cannot override them so first if you are working on default data location the directory and you have sufficiently large physical storage available there then this auto db uh, extend will work properly without any problem so you can limit the expansion of a database segment or device by specifying a maximum size beyond which no further expansion is possible this is the upper limit so example is if i have a 50 mb space uh, total 100 mb but 50 mb space was total left on that space and now i want to say that you can grow by 5 mb each or 5 percentage or 10 percentage each time and you cannot go beyond 100 mb that is a quota again which means that you can put a hard limit or maximum limit beyond which even the expansion will not work you can use sp underscore expand to test mode or to simulate that means it's not necessary that you simply have to give it and it will start working immediately no you can do a test run you can actually run it in a test mode or simulate the expansion process based on your chosen policies so that means if you want to simulate three four policies you can simulate them it will without expansion it will just simulate the process and will give you the output based on the policies which you have chosen so this is unique i have not seen this in sql server i have not seen this uh, in oracle maybe it is there but i have not seen but uh, here i am pretty sure that it works wonderfully and uh, you can try this it is given in lab assignment number 5 the actual scenario so you will try that actual command sp underscore db expand in lab assignment number 5 and you will be able to work with that sp underscore db extend provides ways to list the current settings and drop site specific policy rules the information this particular information is stored in the new attribute definition in sys attributes table which is there in master database okay so you can specify the rules and you can list the rules you can see the settings from this table sys attributes validating current thresholds you can use a check parameter to validate the current settings for various thresholds that means without actually running it you can check for instance check once you if multiple segment share the same sets of devices and both segments are set for automatic expansion or if the threshold currently set to trigger automatic expansion on the log segment is too close to the current last chance threshold for the log segment in this situation the automatic threshold does not fire and check reports a warning so the sp underscore db extend the most important stored procedure includes a powerful simulation mode that any user with sa role 
permission can use to simulate the execution of the top level threshold action procedures. Defining expansion policies to define the expansion policies for the log segment in the pubs2 database which is shipped along with the default installation you can use this sp underscore db extend set parameter one second parameter database and the database name log segment 3m that means you are expanding 3m every time db extend set threshold pubs2 log segment 1m to simulate expansion for these policies you can use this uh, procedure sp underscore db expand simulate pubs2 log segment so once you try that it will simulate and report you that uh, simulate that process now so once you see that you can see that example db sp underscore db extend simulate this is the process how to simulate so sp underscore db expand space simulate pubs2 log segment is and based on the policy no real work will be done and you will be able to see that output and that's for you to monitor actually i know i'm not interested into the output you can monitor and you can check that example carefully this is how it works my friend actual implementation to actually expand the database manually for this threshold you can issue db expand that is a sp underscore db extend execute pubs to log segment one because you configured two log segments so you can use either of the policy either you specified two policy so you can use the policy of your choice to enable this actual implementation or automatic expansion and that's how it works my friend so manual expansion can also be done to expand the database manually for this threshold you can execute sp underscore db extend execute pubs to log segment and that's it so this is a simple process my friends for uh, automatic expansion enabling automatic expansion for sybase databases thanks for watching